okay. Look at that. I have, this is super annoying. X1, Y1, X2, Y2, X3, Y3, X4, Y4. <laughs> is that some kind of geometrical figure? It's a... Shape, I mean. Quad. A shape? Quad. Quadrilateral. <laughs> if you run it, what do I see? Still nothing. But... Oh, but I am going to see something in the end, right? Yeah. But I don't really quite understand. You've been busy for quite a while, but then I still don't see anything in the in the canvas. I'm some... But there are going to be a bunch of shapes on the canvas, right? Uh huh. Okay. Now the only thing that I'm missing here, I think is point. a point <laughs> a point in two dimensional space in two-dimensional space, right? Mm-hmm. This is a point. And all it needs to receive is an X and a Y. That's the easiest one! <laughs> <laughs> Why am I interested in the easiest one last? I don't know. <laughs> X and a Y. Okay, so point 2D dot float. This is the class for point. Outgoing equals a new point 2D dot float. Going and it just has an X equals X outgoing dot Y equals Y out. I, actually, I, that's all I need to do. The only thing I do now is it's return. Outgoing. Okay, so let's see. If I have every trunk function now. Okay, let's see. Is this okay? Come on. See. This is really One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The only thing I have to do now is create a function to create a generic shape. So, so, uh, let's stop for now and okay. then we come back when you have the shapes, right? Yeah.